The chemicals industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry. There are over 350,000 chemicals circulating in the global economy. The aim of the Rotterdam Convention is to share the responsibility for managing international trade in certain hazardous chemicals. It empowers importing countries to decide whether to accept chemical imports and under what conditions, and requires exporting countries to respect those decisions. The foundation of the Convention is information sharing to enable sound decision-making. The major provisions of the Convention are triggered when a chemical is listed in Annex 3. A chemical is listed in Annex 3 of the Convention when Two parties from two different regions have taken action to ban or severely restrict the chemical. The Convention's Chemical Review Committee confirms that the basis for those actions meets the Convention criteria. And the COP agrees to list the chemical in Annex 3. This listing process has worked well, but unforeseen circumstances have prevented listing of some chemicals, despite the majority of parties wanting to do so. This undermines the implementation of the Convention and limits the ability of parties to better control imports of hazardous substances. In May 2023, the COP will be asked to consider a proposal to amend the Convention text to create a new Annex in which chemicals can be listed if agreement to list them on Annex 3 cannot be reached. How will the amendments work in practice? The amendments to the Convention text, creating the new Annex 8 and associated obligations, will only apply to those parties that ratify the amended Convention. The process for listing chemicals in Annex 3 will remain the same for all parties to the Convention. If the COP agrees to list the chemical in Annex 3, there is no need to discuss an Annex 8 listing. If the COP cannot agree to list a chemical in Annex 3, the parties to the amended Convention can decide to list the chemical in Annex 8 instead. Preferably, this decision will be taken by consensus. But if this isn't possible, it can be taken by a three-fourths majority vote. Parties to the amended convention will be able to export any Annex 8 chemical to another party only if an import response has been transmitted. So let's recap. Looking at the COP decision process for listings, if the amendments are adopted and once they enter into force. The Chemical Review Committee recommends a chemical for listing in Annex 3. The COP agrees to list the chemical in Annex 3. All pre-existing processes and obligations for Annex 3 chemicals apply. Or, the COP cannot agree to list the chemical in Annex 3. Parties to the amended convention agree, by consensus or three-fourths majority, to list the chemical in Annex 8. The decision and the decision guidance document are transmitted to all parties. An importing party must provide its import response before any Annex 8 chemical can be exported to them. The chemical remains on the COP agenda for a future decision on listing in Annex 3. What are the benefits of the proposed amendment? It provides an additional tool for some countries facing difficulties with managing unwanted shipments of hazardous chemicals. It will help countries to take domestic action, to either manage the import of a chemical or not allow the import. It retains the aim of sharing responsibility for sound management of chemicals. It builds on existing convention processes, which will remain unchanged, including listing chemicals in Annex 3 by consensus. We hope you can support this proposal, and by doing so, support the continuing success of the Rotterdam Convention.